and welcome to another episode of The Master Builder. I'm so glad you joined us today. Each week we've been talking about how God is our master builder and we've been having some fun building together. So far we've built with Legos and we made blanket forts and we built some things using recycled materials. But today we're gonna build using something you may have not thought of to use before and that is balloons. Yes, you can build with balloons. In fact, in our Sunday morning in-person service, the kids had fun building with some balloons. Let's see what they made. Isn't that cool? What would you like to build with balloons? That would be really neat. There are some artists who build huge sculptures using balloons found some pictures on the internet and I thought they were amazing. I wanted to share them with you. Let's look at them together. That last one, the one that looks like fire, reminds me of our lesson for today. Before we get to that, let's go over our memory verse for this week. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Luke 4, 8. Okay, so are you ready to find out why fire reminds me of our lesson? <laughs> okay, well, let's get into it. Our ponder point for this week is God rescues. Watch this. The Master Builder, God's Hand at Work. Last time in the Big God story, we heard about King Josiah, who followed God with his whole heart. He brought God's people back to obeying the law, and through that, God awakened his people and they worshipped him. Unfortunately, though, their worship didn't last long. When a new king came, the people stopped following the one true God, and they went back to the false idols. And so, God allowed a foreign enemy, the Babylonians, to come and take over the land of Israel. Many of the Israelites were actually taken into captivity to live in Babylon. Three of those captivities were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God blessed these men with great wisdom, but there was a big problem. You see, the people of Babylon worshipped false gods instead of the one true God. And so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were determined, even though they lived in Babylon, that they were going to serve God and only God. The problem was that obeying God meant that at times they needed to disobey the king. But you know what? They weren't afraid because they know that God rescues. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, ordered a huge golden statue to be created for the people to bow down and worship. The statue was tall. In fact, it was about as tall as a building with nine floors. And the king's orders were clear. When the music played, everyone must bow down and worship the golden statue. If you didn't obey, the punishment was that you would be thrown into a blazing furnace. The three men had a tough decision to make. Would they obey the king or obey God? They refused the order and they decided to trust God to help them. Unfortunately, some people were quick to tell the king about their refusal to obey the command. And when King Nebuchadnezzar heard that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego disobeyed him, he got really angry. He brought the three men before him to explain everything. He even gave them another chance to follow the command to worship the statue. But they refused and trusted God and the God who rescues. They told him this, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. But even if he does not, we want you to know that we will not serve your God and worship the image of gold you've set up. You can imagine that their response to King Nebuchadnezzar made him furious. He ordered that the furnace would be heated hotter, extra hot, and he ordered his strongest soldiers to throw them into the fire. But God did not abandon them. He rescued them. When the king looked into the fire, he saw that four men were walking around the fire and they were unbound and unharmed. The king was amazed and he called for them to come out of the fire. 
The Bible says that their hair or their clothes were not even burnt. They didn't even smell like smoke. And the king was so amazed at what he saw that he worshipped God. God rescues. And he still rescues today. Life isn't always easy and God doesn't always take away the hard things. But we know that he loves us, he cares for us, and he is fighting for us. We can trust him. And we can trust that we follow the same God that rescued Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he still rescues today. God truly is your rescuer, and you can put your trust and hope in him. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of The Master Builder with Kids World, and we'll see you back next week. Bye!